PTC Creo Parametric 3.0 Lesson 12, Part 1. In uh, Lesson 12, we're going to create some drawings from both the subassembly and the assembly. And we're also going to set up a format that we can use on the drawings. So first thing, make sure you've set your working directory to wherever it is your files are for the swing clamp. And we can open up the uh, existing subassembly. And after that's in session, we can actually close it. So I'm just going to bring it up, put it in session, and it'll be the default model for a drawing. So I'm going to close that. And we're going to set up, we're actually, we're going to start by, I'm going to click Control O, open. I'm going to go into my system formats, E format, and file, save as, give it a unique name, whatever it says uh, in the book, use. I'm just going to give it something different. So I've got existing ones with that name. All right, so we're going to close this and open up the one that we just created. So we should have saved it. I'm going to go over here and click on Format to find it. Here it is. So Oh, wrong one. Sorry, that's the problem. I have so many of these that uh, I'm going to change the type again. Format E, format ASM format. There we go. Don't want anything on this one. And we're going to zoom up to the title block area. And we're going to set some of our drawing properties. And the text height <clears throat> is 0.25. The default font is filled. The arrow length is 0.25. Arrow width is 0.8. And the arrow style is filled. And those are the five things you want to set for this particular project for the format. So make sure you've set these. I put them as set and you can go alphabetical. But if you go as set, you can see the ones that we've changed here. Apply. You can save this if you wish also under a unique name. I'm just going to leave it like it is and close the two dialogues and again zoom in on the title block area. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing as we did in lesson 11 when we created the uh, detail format. This is the assembly format but in the book and it has a variety of uh, steps that are basically the same as what was in Lesson 11. We'll do these a little bit differently. <clears throat> We've got a couple of notes and a couple of parametric notes that we're going to put on here. So, <clears throat> excuse me, go to the Annotate tab, and let's click on Note, Unattached Note, and click in the area here, Largest Field. And put the name of your company or whatever you wish. And put a couple other notes in there. This one will be drawn. And the last one will be issued. Later we can change the size of some of these. Now, the next thing we want to do is, like before in Lesson 11, we do want to put in some information on the 
that's going to be parametric that's going to be read into the drawing when the uh, format is used. Can drawing name, sheets, scale, and let's start off with the scale. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to click on note and click where the scale is going to go. And this time, instead of typing, we're going to go up to insert field. This is new for Creo 3.0 and click on scale. Like so, and if you click on switch dimensions, let's see, click, let's go back to another note and we're going to click in here. So we've got the scale and then we've got the sheet number and total sheets. So we're going to click here's total sheets. So sheet number space of and then click on insert field again total sheets. So it'll be sheet one of one. It's going to read that in there. And click on switch dimensions you'll see what's coming up. And the last one is drawing name. It's going to go in the same area here. So again, this is a little little large. Uh, if you want, you can move this around a little bit until later. And then I think I'll do that just to show you. We'll put the drawing name in here. So note, click where you want it to go. And insert the field. And it will be a parametric. It will be drawing name. And that's the name of the drawing that it's reading in. That's the name that we gave it when we started this format. And again, we can move this one back over like so. I know it goes over the top. Don't worry about that. So you want to save that. And we'll do some more work with our bill of materials. But for right now, if we wanted to use this format, then we would see what gets written into it. And let me click on something here. Click on format. Again, you switch dimensions. It'll show you all the parametric notes that went in there instead of having to type it. Previously, you had to type for a drawing name would be ampersand drawing DWG underscore name. Here, the insert the field gives you the opportunity to do this much quicker. Now, there's hundreds of different types of parameters and these are the only ones that are given to you in a in this uh, drop down menu for Creo 3.0 you can also still get it from a, a note from a from a file if you've created them for your company so this is going to this these are just notes here and these are parametric notes they're going to actually read in drawing scale and the format I mean the drawing name and then the total sheets, number of sheet, and then total number of sheets. So if we have multiple sheets, this will fill in automatically. This ends part one.